All right, guys. So uh, on my Daytona, my lower ball joints they went bad. Um, both of them on both sides. When you turn the wheel, you could hear like squeaking sounds and shit. And I hate that because it makes me feel like I'm driving a piece of shit truck, you know. So, um, so yeah. So I already got the ball joints. I have some with there. Um, the only thing that uh, I was going to hammer them out, but I don't want to be struggling and taking forever trying to do that. So I'm just gonna go to O'Reilly's and rent the tool where I could just put the impact and they'll just come off. Um, so yeah, so on this video, I'm gonna be installing the lower control, the lower uh, ball joints. Um, I don't know why they went bad so so quick. I got this controls, the DJM controls, maybe like a year ago, or probably even less, and they already went bad. But I did hear a lot of bad things about these uh, control arm ball joints. So, so yeah. So uh, I ended up getting. I was gonna go with a Moog uh, or Mog. I don't know how the fuck you say it, but I was gonna go with those uh, lower ball joints, but. Uh, I was told that these are pretty good, the Master P, some shit like that, Master Pro, and they're pretty good too, so they were cheaper, so I just decided just to go with those, and they have warranty, so, so yeah, so I'm gonna be installing those, so right now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to O'Reilly's, rent out the tool that I need, and, uh, and we're gonna do the install. All right, guys, so it's a little dark, but right now I got time to do this. So, to replace the ball joints, first thing you gotta do, I'm talking about the lower ball joints, first thing you gotta do is remove the brake caliper. After you make the brake caliper, you remove the rotors. And uh, let me do that real quick, and I'll show you guys what else you have to do. All right, guys, there you go. So after that, you could put the caliper to the side, hang it with a jump, jumpy uh, cords, or you could use a box of beer, empty beer, of course. And then you could put the rotor on the side. So after this, you gotta remove the, the tie rod right here. Uh, your cuts might be different since I'm running a bumpster kit. Mine's gonna be a 24 millimeter down here. And then you gotta remove the top uh, bolt from the control arm, for the upper control arm. And then you remove the lower one from the lower control arm. And then the whole spindle should come off. So let me do that. All right, guys. So you can see how we took it off. It's pretty easy if you have this tool that you could rent at O'Reilly's or any other parts store. So pretty much the ball joint goes like this, right? With this top thing, you push it out so it'll come out and then with this cup it goes down here so practically this is pressing this it's pressing it up so the ball joints could go down with that and with this little plate thing so practically it goes like this this thing right here sits over here so practically goes like this, and then you screw it out, and it'll be coming out like that. And it'll pop out like that. It's pretty easy, not that hard. So up next is uh, putting the new one on. So let me do that real quick. All right, guys, so for some reason, this kit that I uh, rented doesn't come with the top piece right here to push this down. And so the ball joint could go up. So I decided to make my own. So I got a little uh, piece of metal part pieces that I had right there laying around. And I welded my own little thing right here. As you can see. So practically this thing's gonna go up like this. And this thing is gonna push this thing. While the bottom piece pushes this ball joint up. So practically this is pushing it up. 
while this is pushing it down. So like that, you go all the way up. So like this. So while I'm spinning this, this is putting pressure here. While this thing is pushing it up. So the ball just go up. All the way there. So let me do that. There you go. Brand new ball joint. What's the other ones I can show to you guys? Here's the old one. They are the same size, but this one works. I guess so I put the ball joints on the truck but for some reason the fucking truck lifted up like an inch I don't know if because the ball joints are a little bit longer than the ones I took off but yeah I don't know I'm gonna drive it like this for a while hopefully it'll sit down like I want it like it was before if not, then I'll see what I have to do. But yeah, I don't know why the fuck it went up. All right, guys, so if you guys saw the previous videos, you guys saw that I ordered uh, an SRT tank cluster for my truck. Um, I already got the cluster, so right now what I'm doing is I'm removing the original cluster. So let me show you guys. So there it is. I had to take this off the plastic that's around it um, where the air vent and the light switch is at all you gotta do is pull it out pull this out there's a screw over here on that side so make sure you check that out there's two screws here on top right here on top and then there's this one that one this one right here another, another one over here and then you could take it out and then unplug it so yeah all right, guys, so here's the original cluster, and here's the SRT tank cluster. You guys can see the difference. Um, also, I didn't know this, but the guy who sold me this cluster, he told me that I have to remove this part right here. And put it on the on this one so like that my my truck could lock with the keys and stuff like that so i didn't know that but yeah you have to remove this and put it on over here so the truck could still lock and everything and open up so let me do that all right guys so i already put it on pretty easy you just gotta put this out and this out and then it comes off so, I'm gonna put the cluster on. All right, guys, there's a cluster. I don't think you can see the lights turn on yet, but I'll show you guys at night. Um, so yeah, it's pretty good. The only bad thing, well, some might not take it as a bad thing, but is that the miles don't show like the original on my truck. My drug originally has 186,000 miles, but now it has 20,000 miles. So yeah, that's the only bad thing, but it's all good. I mean, I don't plan on ever selling my truck because, um, well, I don't plan on selling it. Unless someone gives me some good money for it, then I don't know, I might sell it, but I really doubt I'll sell it. I've already been offered 25K for it, even more than that, but like i said i won't sell my truck i really love my truck i built my truck and for you for you for those of you that don't know this truck used to be my parents truck but uh they didn't want it no more so i i bought it for them from them so i decided to uh build it and ever since my parents bought this truck brand new i always liked this truck i made this truck into my dream truck ever since my parents bought it so i told myself that one day I'll have it, either they'll give it to me or I'll buy it off of them or I'll buy, I'll buy myself another Daytona. 
But yeah, so they decided to sell it, so I ended up buying it for them. So, so yeah. So this truck is being built like how, how I like it. So that's why I don't think I'll ever sell it because it runs in the family, I guess. So, so the truck's gonna run in the family, I guess. So yeah. So you. All right, guys. So uh, ended up fixing up the problem with it uh, going up a little bit while changing the ball joints. Uh, let me show you guys. So as you guys can see, it's not as low as it was before. There's no gap again. Show you the other side. No gap. So what I ended up doing is something that I don't recommend nobody do, but I'm the type of person that is uh, real picky. So yeah, I ended up cutting the springs just one turn. So I really didn't cut that much and then put it back to where it was. So I probably like dropped it like half an inch cutting this and uh yeah the truck still rides smooth i just took it around the block and it still rides real good and uh it's not bouncy or anything so that's good but yeah guys so i don't recommend nobody do this i know a lot of people call this the ghetto drop but i mean look at her she sits like she should nice and low um so yeah, so, oh well. I do have two inch springs uh, that I could have put on it, but it would have dropped it a little bit way too much. And I would have probably had to put uh, some little, uh, like they sell like there's little rocks that you could put in between the springs. But I don't know if that was gonna work. They also sell like the coil, uh, the top rubber thing. They also sell the, the, like a one inch for that. But I mean, this works. Like, I guess I'll just leave it like that. And yeah, so let me show you guys the cluster again. All right, guys, there's the cluster light up. Looking real nice. Uh, my check engine light keeps turning on because of the EGR valve. I don't know why it keeps turning on. I already replaced it like three times and it still keeps doing that. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, like I said, it's looking real good. Got the 454 over there. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it with this video. Um, for the, the, the ball joints getting replaced and the cluster. And uh, also me lowering the truck a little bit more because of the ball joints made my truck go up. Um, and uh, oh well, yeah, guys, so um, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Also, guys, uh, go check out my uh, music uh, channel. The link will be below. Um, I posted a few songs there, but... Um, I'm going to be working with a couple people. So you guys go check that out once those songs come out. Um, I'm also working on some new stuff. So yeah, I'll be posting those stuff there uh, soon. I have a few songs there that I got to post. So you guys make sure you guys go check that, that channel out. And well, yeah, guys. So that's pretty much it. So peace. Bien me la paso yo zumbando los domingos con los camaradas ando jugando carreras para saber cuál es la troca más vergas let the motherfuckers tires burn Today